Hello, I am Reverend Linda Jefferson, and our devotional today is entitled, Who is Truth? It's found in the book of John, the 8th chapter, 31st through 32nd verse. And I will be reading from the New Living Translation. Jesus said to the people who believed in him, You are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. How do you decide what is true? What is not true? People are wondering daily with this pandemic, what is the truth? We are searching for what is the truth about COVID-19, health care, the economy, school systems, government, the election, food supplies, restaurants, retail, and other establishments that we took for granted. Day after day, we woke up to so many untruths and so much confusion and chaos. Truth is essential to believe. If you believe that working out and eating healthy will give you a better looking body and good health, then you will follow through and do it. Certainly, it will not happen simply because you think about it, but you must do something to make it a reality. The text states that if you're truly a disciple of Christ, then you will remain faithful to his teachings. Most importantly, this faithfulness is what will lead you to truth of Christ. The truth of Christ is what will make you free. Therefore, the Spirit of God is the only one who can lead us into truth. Jesus grants us freedom. However, remaining in him is what leads us to the ultimate freedom. Freedom in the world can seem fulfilling. Unfortunately, time has shown that freedom in the world is just an illusion. Versus freedom in Christ, which gives us access to an internal peace that the world could never imagine. Which is why the scripture highlights that the truth will make you free instead of making you look free. Finally, if you're anything like me, I'm sure you're tired of wearing the natural mask. However, the Spirit of the Lord has shown me that it makes me free by keeping myself and the people I love healthy. Sometimes life can't prepare us for its truth. The Word of God can condition us to be content in all things because we are connected to the source of truth. Staying connected to Jesus, the truth and the light, conditions us to be great disciples of freedom. Have a blessed and safe day in Jesus.